apart from this one. It could look like a pile of fabric, but these are neatly woven pieces that talk of real life experiences in rural Uganda. Using his knitting needle, Elenua Tuhereza explores rich themes like good harvests or disappointing marriages to messages of hope. My art tells more about the village life, mostly about the Vachiga culture, which is not documented. So through my work, I feel somebody can associate more herself with my work, and Kai gets to know more insight about the Vachiga culture. His art pieces are also emphasizing the importance of reducing waste to the environment by giving them a new lease of life. From t-shirt cutoffs to used artificial hair and synthetic fibers, which would have been otherwise been thrown away, Eli weaves out pieces that speak about the culture of Western Uganda, where he comes from. Eli picks offcuts from tailors in downtown Kampala to use as raw material for his crafts. But he also wants communities around him to benefit from his crafts. I always pay the young kids who collect these materials for me. So it's like through collecting that material, they are earning a living. Then there is a group of women who normally come to pray, it, as in to make twins. They are also earning a living, but indirectly, they are learning a skill. So apart from the money, then there's also skill development. Eli is struggling to make people appreciate the art of decorating fabric. Weaving is still looked at as a craft in art world. Mm. But I'm trying to see really how can I make it look more of visual, like how it can earn respect like paintings, drawings and sculpture. So through that process, again, I meet different provocations. But probably I feel at a certain time, weaving will also be accepted as an art form. Through his art skill, Eli hopes to continue weaving designs that can impact on social change in communities and making his work worthwhile. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, in Kampala.